Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Kitchen of Jack or welcome uh, for the first time if it's your first time here. Thanks for joining me today. Have my kitchen back to myself. Um, our guest left early this morning and a couple of days ago I was uh, thinking as soon as um, I get the kitchen back I've got something that I want to make and I've made hummus before but I said let's see if we can do some different twist on it. So I just kind of started playing around a little bit, as I always do. I Googled a couple of things. I Googled how to, uh, as you'll see in the next step, I Googled how to roast uh, red peppers, which was super easy. And uh, yeah, just thought I would bring you along. I like to bring people along as I'm doing it. Now, a proper recipe person, a proper uh, recipe creator would probably make the recipe, taste it, make it a couple of times, tweak it, add this, do something, blah, 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 genuflect, and then, uh, and then say, okay, I've got a recipe for you. But eh, I never know if I'm going to make a recipe uh, twice. So um, anyhow, I like to just do it in real time. So without any further ado, let's set up, uh, let's get a better angle here and we'll get going. Okay, I've got one large red bell pepper here. Um, I tell red bell peppers are a bit expensive in uh, my area, so um, there's one place that keeps them on sale. Next time, I will roast a whole bunch at one time, but for right now, just roasting the one. And I just Googled this and looked at several different uh, accounts of how you do it. I've got my oven set to 450 degrees. A uh, baking sheet with uh, parchment paper on there. You cut your pepper and you cut out the seeds and the ribs and put it cut part down. And then I'm just going to toss that in the oven, let it go for about 30 or 40 minutes until the skin is blistery and charred. That's very important for the skin to get blistery and charred because we're going to peel it later. So in the oven we go. Okay, those came out nice and charred. Now what I'm gonna do here is you put them in a big bowl, then I'm gonna cover this with plastic wrap. And you let it set sit for like a minimum of 20 minutes, they say up to four or five hours, but uh, mine's gonna be somewhere in between there. I'm just gonna set it, let it go while I do some things. And uh, then uh, you let it cool down and then we're gonna peel those skins off. And then we will make the hummus. Okay, time to make the hummus. My peppers turned out well. Um, the skin uh, easily peeled right off, and ah, that was the first time I did those. So that's just uh, that's just a lesson for you. You can Google and find anything you want to do. So first, we're going to add a couple of cloves of garlic here. Next, I've got a can of chickpeas. I drained them. Next, I've got some lemon juice here. I've got the juice of a lemon. I'm going to use most of it. Then we're going to put our peppers in there. I'll tell you the one thing I might would have done, will do next time is I would have probably made some, probably could have used a little bit more pepper in there, but that's all right. Then I'm going to put a little cumin in there. I thought I had some uh, ground cumin, but all I've got are cumin seeds. I kind of, eh. Kind of halfway hesitant. I don't really like the cumin seeds in a recipe as much, but I'm going to put a teaspoon in there. Then I've got some uh, tahini here, and I'm going to put uh, two tablespoons of tahini in here. And then first, I'm just going to set this thing going before I add in. We may end up adding some additional liquid in there. Oh, and I don't have any kind of an anti-vibrate thing, so this thing's going to shake a lot. All right. Texture is nice. getting there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little pinch of salt. 
Not a lot, just a little. And then I saved, uh, just in case, I saved some of the uh, liquid out of the can of uh, chickpeas. And I've got about a quarter of a cup here, but I'm not going to use nearly a quarter of a cup. I'm just going to use a little bit at a time. Just kind of make it, give it a little bit smoother consistency. We'll put it back on. And voila. Mm. Mm. All right, that was it. I'm up here, my mouth's up here, so you couldn't see me take a bite, but I took a little bite of it, and that was absolutely perfect right there. And to be honest, after rethinking it for one can of uh, chickpeas, I don't know that I would use more red pepper. Maybe I'll experiment with it, but it is good like that because it doesn't like completely just overpower it. It's not all red pepper. So uh, anyhow, that's how it comes out. So all you got to do, just start getting in the kitchen and playing around. A couple of days ago, I was like, ooh, uh, red pepper uh, hummus would be good. So I just made it. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you here again real soon. Peace.